Hi guys, so today I have this new set to share with you from Diamond Press. It is their new Walk in Faith uh, stamp and die kit they brought to HSN. And uh, they did send this out free of charge for my review. And of course, all opinions are my own. And any links out in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items to those links. So thank you for using those. Um, let's get this guy open. Oh, that's so pretty. You can see these pieces here, of course, create like a cross. Um, again, it's called Walk in Faith. Or, you know, you can just use it as a decorative piece. Like this little piece would look really nice, just like a, a little bracket or something. Um, and then there's like some sprigs and then, of course, shapes that cut something from the stamp set, right? So let's open that up and check out the stamp set. So it probably has a lot of yeah, stamps. Yeah, I would say it probably has a lot of stamp sentiments because I don't see any like sentiment words in the actual dies here. So let's check this out. Look at that. Really nice and large. Let me see if I can get you a measurement so you have an idea of how big these guys are. So very much a statement sentiment there. Like four and a quarter, four inches wide. And then we have the little flowers. And then of course we have the dies that cut the flowers. Um, we have this die here that we have the word walk in faith there. Yeah, and then some other smaller ones like faith, love, hope. I suppose you can cut them out with this little guy. And... So you can cut those uh, with that. And then we have the little leaves and the roses. You see roses kind of facing different ways, which is really nice. These are more like, like flowers, like, <laughs> I don't know, uh, regular kind of flowers. Well, these are definitely roses here. Uh, he is the way, the truth, and the life. And then we have God is love, and in his word I put my trust. And just really lovely. And these are a, a longer, like, larger <laughs> orientation where this one's more... Uh, in a banner mode and let's just see the inspo sheet and of course it comes with a cutting folder of course that is for the marquee but you can run these dies through any die cutting machine that cuts thin metal dies and yeah so I mean oh you know what? well I guess I showed that but this is a background die or a shadow die and then that beautiful intricate die that's um it cuts its own it's not like an inlay um so we have those and you pair them together and match them up oh that is so pretty so I just figured the one goes on top of the other but as you can see, they kind of interlock it here. So um, we'll definitely do that today. Oh, there's a little flower I didn't even point out. But there you go. And then the leaves. And everyone has a little die, which is really nice. Um, and yeah, there it is. So for this shape here, you cut the different sentiments, like those smaller ones. Okay, well, let me grab some paper and ink and all that good stuff, and I'll be right back. So there's lots of different ways to play this up. Um, you know, depending if you want to just focus on the cross there, or just do the flowers, or the cross with flowers. You know, you have all these sentiments. I pulled out a couple things that I thought, this is the kind of thing that works really well with this. So, like, these um, embossing folders, like, with this little frame, I thought that would be lovely, because then the cross will be there, and it's already framed out. And I have tons of different... Uh, uh, embossing folders that do this kind of thing. So uh, I'm going to use this piece of paper here. Oh, it looks a little something happened on the back there, but uh, it is cut yeah, to I can't four. remember exactly what I cut it to, but I cut it to four. It's because it's usually not the number I do. I usually do four and eighth by five and three eighths. This is four by five and a quarter. So it's going to fit right in there. And this is just a really nice heavyweight cardstock, cream colored cardstock. But I brought out another embossing folder just to quickly mention. Um, and I'll line this up nice and center before I run it through. That looks really good. Um, one like this one. Like, uh, you can imagine I'm not going to take the paper out since it's already lined up, but if you took a piece of paper and let's say you stamped like this down at the bottom, this longer uh, sentiment like down here, then you can take your paper and just kind of eyeball where that is and leave the sentiment that you stamped down here and then run it through and you have the texture at the top. That'd be really lovely too. But just um, something to think about. I'll put that one to the side. So we're going to run that through. And then I'm going to make a really ornate cross. So just a cream colored background. I'll probably leave it nice and soft like that. Um, and with this one, I'm going to do is, since the background is a cream color, I'm going to do the gold matte paper from these guys. And we just need one of each. Unless you're making several cards, then you obviously see as many as you need. And then from the silver shiny paper, I'm keeping it over here because I know it freaks out my camera. Uh, I'm going to cut out these ornate ones. So that one and this one. And I think for the sentiment, we'll do a stamped sentiment and then cut it out with this guy. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So let's get some of these things to the side here. And I have a standard H2 size card base. Again, that's eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And I'll just glue this piece down over the top, just like that. Again, very soft in the background. And then with these guys. 
see these guys. Oh, yeah. I'm be very careful with this because it's metallic paper, but on top of that, um, I don't want to get glue all over the top of the metallic paper. So, uh, let me see if I have a spot where it's coming out. Yep. Yeah. Oh my gosh. How pretty. This little piece, I'm getting the wrong piece. There we go. Just really pretty. Um, and I'll give you a quick measurement on these because I forgot to mention this guy is like almost four inches wide and this one is just over five almost five and a quarter tall right so what I'm gonna do is just put some glue in the back of my hand like I do I'm gonna pat this on here and I'm just gonna place it there and the same thing with this other beautiful piece okay and I'll be right back Oh, sorry, as I was cleaning this out, I just noticed it's two different pieces. I thought it was one piece that was connected, but that makes sense because then these last pieces here, um, like I said, kind of overlap. So what I'll probably do is not glue this very base piece. So let me get the other one down and then I'll talk about that. I'll okay, be right so back. Let me get this out of the way. So we have our card base here. We have this piece here. And our cross. Let me see. I think... Yeah, okay. So, um, these pieces are going to overlay just a little bit on top of this piece, and I guess just to get that going, I can go ahead and just glue this piece down, kind of having an, an idea where it goes. This obviously lines up with the, the thing, but as you can see, it kind of overlays just a little bit there. So, what I'm going to do is just keep an eye on that for now, and... I think I'm going to glue that piece down. I just want to see exactly where it should be. If that is there, and this is just about here. Put the glue on here. And this is quick drying glue, so once it's down, it's pretty much down. And I'm just eyeballing that, but if you want to use like your grid lines to help you keep your cross nice and straight, before I really push that down, I'm just going to make sure this is in the right spot. That was like there. And if this were right there, a little bit higher up. Okay, and then I'll let you know or show you what that looks like. So I'm just going to put glue on the back of my hand again. Some fresher glue. The other one's been sitting there for a minute. And just pat, pat, pat. I try to be really delicate with it so it doesn't get glue all over the place. And before I really stick this down, I'm looking seeing where that's at. Okay. So I'll hold that down. That yeah, looks good. And I'm sorry if it's all glare and everything because it's very hard to work with this metallic paper and not have a glare. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing with the other side. Just pat, pat, pat and lay it right there so it overlaps a little bit of this area. See how that overlaps there? just like that okay and I'll be right back okay guys so we have this gorgeousness going here now I'm gonna cover a little bit of this up with that sentiment so I just want to show you kind of how that looks if you want to do that but if you're gonna cover it up I would just put the pieces down put this these pieces down then glue them together okay but I do want to show you that little extra step if you want to take a moment to do that um, okay so let me see oh you know what I guess I'll stamp this uh, cream color paper again, doing that cream color back. And uh, it says, give it to God, have, I'm sorry, faith, love, hope. And then there's walk in faith. You know what? I'm going to go with this one. That's So give it to God. And I'm going to stamp that with some gold ink. I'll say I generally have it sitting around laying next to me here. And, you know, you can definitely, oh, real quick, I'm going to emboss also. So I'll use a little embossing kind of buddy. Anti-static. You can definitely put this in a stamp positioner if you think you're going to need to stamp it again. But I'm also, so you can, this is pigment ink, so you can seal it with just like clear embossing powder. But I have gold embossing powder, so that just adds another layer of that gold. So I'm going to pop this on there. Ooh, have I used this before? I guess not. Not this one. And generally I pour this over 
something else, but this is kind of a small little spot, so I'll just get that back in there. Looking good. All right, and then I'll heat set this with my heat tool, which right now is underneath my glue gun, so I'm just going to do that, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, and with this always, you know, it looked kind of matte, right? And as you're heating it up, once it goes from matte to shiny, move um, over to another, a different area. Um... If you go too far and leave it there too long, a lot of times it happens with embossing powders. They just like will melt away. <laughs> it's just really odd. It turns to like liquid or something because it goes right through the paper. Uh, and I'm just eyeballing this. That looks really good to me. I'm just kind of eyeballing where those are, where the G and everything else over here. Okay. So again, don't put the <laughs> tape on your embossing because you don't want to lift that off later. And I'm going to run that through. And I usually wait for it to be nice and cooled. But I think we're ready. Okay, I'll run that through and I'll be right back. Okay. Oh, lovely. So, I mean, that's our focal point. It's gorgeous. We have our sentiment. We have our card base. It has that texture. And that looks really pretty. I, I really love the simplicity of this. Um... I'm going to cut a couple sprigs just because I have some silver paper extra and I thought the silver would be good to do since we can bring that back in. And so if I find some spots on here that I can cut some sprigs, that's what I'll do. And I'll be right back. Okay, I mean, I put the one and I was like, yep, that looks awesome. <laughs> so we can put this other one like down in here. So what I'm going to do is just put some very um, low profile dimensional adhesive. That way I can put some on this one and also have it on this. And it'll keep that lower profile but still give us dimension between both of them so I'm gonna place that there and I'll place them all strategically on this one and I'll be right back. So I've already taken the carriers off we'll tuck these in so I place them in a way that I can still tuck in my little sprigs if I want to there um, so let's see before I really place it I need to check left and right up and down that looks pretty good and then this guy and you can even put the sprigs like you know behind there if you wanted. I'm gonna put it behind the whole cross, but and again I'm eyeballing this one. I'm gonna get this closer to me guys just to make sure it's really centered. I'll be right back. Alright. So I kind of centered it so it's pretty much level with those little pointers that are back there. And then this one should be a little pointy, and then this guy doesn't really have an area, but just right down the middle. I know, it's very reflective. <laughs> so I'm gonna put a little glue in the back of my hand and just tuck these guys like in here okay, okay and I'll grab so there's my finished card i'm gonna try to focus it in a way you can see everything the textures this oh this is so gorgeous actually when i was talking back in there a lot of it wanted to stay up here and that looked really pretty too it gives like movement and then we have our sentiment there so thank you so much diamond press for sending this item for a review um i'll have it linked in the description box i have some images coming up along with uh links to any other items that are already available there on hsn all right guys have a great day bye now